Hey guys, so today is Saturday, but I actually got dressed because I'm gonna go plant shopping in a little bit with my mom. As you can probably tell by this little baby behind me, all of my plants are dying. This apartment really doesn't get good sunlight at all, and it's also always an ice box. So I pretty much have to have my heat on blast when I'm home, but I of course keep it off when I'm out at work because I have to pay for heat here and it's very expensive. I already got my first bill and it's a lot. So. I'm trying to keep that to a minimum, but my plants are really not doing well because of it. So today I'm really just gonna try to pick out some really sturdy and low maintenance plants. My snake plant and my ZZ plant have actually still done really well here and that's because they're super easy and very hard to kill. So I plan on getting some more of those and even though I won't have as nice of a variety, I will at least have plants that are alive. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what my plants are currently looking like they're really not doing well and I have tried to revive them and just give them water and care and love and nothing's really working so I might have to just let go of some of them. Okay so these are the plants that I keep on my windowsill. My jade succulent is actually doing pretty well. This one however is not. She's looking very sad and dried out. And then this plant is actually my newest plant that I got from the sill. It's a satin pothos, which I loved so much. And they actually told me that it does require quite a bit of sun, but I just kind of went against their advice because I thought it was so pretty, but it's only been three weeks and she's already brown. I'm just so sad. This plant, she used to be standing up like this. These two are not so bad in the back. This one's okay, it's kind of wrinkling up. And this spot is actually from a candle that I burned near it, so <laughs> that's just like that now. And then I have this aloe, and then here, this one is the one I'm like most embarrassed about. I actually have already clipped off many brown leaves, but she keeps browning on me, and I don't wanna let go of her or any of my plant babies. So that is my plan update. I am getting ready to head out, so I will take you with me and show you what I end up getting from the sale. All right, so I literally just got home. It is freezing out there, guys. Like, I am so beyond done with winter already. I'm ready for the warmer weather. My hands are freezing. My face is like crackling. It's so dry. <laughs> but anyway, that's besides the point. I thought I might do a mini plant haul and just show you guys some of the plants that I got. I didn't actually purchase too many and all of the plants that I got were from the sill and not from that first shop, Tend Greenpoint. I actually loved their selection of plants, but their prices were outrageous. Like when I say outrageous, I mean like their teeniest little plants were like 30 bucks and my mom actually ended up getting a six inch plant, I think for about $60. I think she didn't realize how expensive it was until she went up to pay, but I just couldn't do it. As you can see, all my plants are nearly dead. So for me, I'd rather go the cheaper route. And I know that the sill does have quality plants as well. So I figured why not just get my plants from there. So let's get into our little haul. Here's my bag. Just as plants make people happy. And I got four plants. So I think two of them are smaller plants and two of them are like six inch or something. So here is one of the plants. This is a snake plant, I'm sure you can tell. I actually have another snake plant over here, but this one has like the yellow tips. So I thought it might be fun just to get this one that's just completely green. And I have a big pot for it already, so I'm just gonna plop it in there. But this is what that one looks like. This is the biggest one that I got. That one was $20, I think. Um, and then here's the second largest, which is also a snake plant. But this one is so cool. I thought the coloring was very unique and I've actually never seen snake plants like this and no one that I know has a snake plant like this. So I thought it was cool and I just kind of wanted to get it just because it was very different and I, I liked how it looked. I also made it a point to only get very low maintenance plants, plants that don't require a lot of sunlight because as you know, my apartment doesn't give me anything. So here's another snake plant that I am adding to my collection. And then I got another little ZZ plant. This one's a mini one. I think this is a four inch or three inch pot, but I am gonna replant her 
in one of my vases. I have so many empty vases right now because my plants died. <laughs> I can't say it enough. I'm so upset about it. I'm so sad. But that's okay. I'm going to replace them with these strong babies. So hopefully these can survive my frigid and uh, lightless apartment. But anyway, this is a ZZ plant and another low maintenance plant. And she's smaller than the one that I currently have on my coffee table. So this one, even though they don't really need humidity, I think I'm going to add her to my bathroom along with the last plant that I got, which is this baby. And this is a philodendron. So I just love the heart-shaped leaves that it has. It kind of resembles a pothos plant, pothos, pothos. This one I heard was a little hardier and preferred low light or could survive in low light. So I figured why not try this one? I do have a hanging planter in my bathroom as well. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I will probably bring her to the window every now and then just to give her some light, but that's her. She's cute, she's little. I'm spilling soil everywhere. Um, but I think that's all of the plants that I got. But I also wanted to mention that one thing that I really like about the sill is that they give you these plant cards and they just basically tell you how often you need to water your plants and basically how to take care of them. So for example, this one is for the ZZ plant. It says water every three to four weeks. Basically just tells you thrives in medium to low indirect light. Oops. <laughs> Um, says not suited for intense direct sun. So hopefully she still likes my apartment. My other one is doing fine So I think that'll be okay But basically it tells you like if your plants have wrinkled leaves Then that means it's thirsty if it's yellowing it means it's overwatered So I like these care cards that they give you and yeah, I think they just take uh, good care of their plants while they're in the shop So I like that and they have the most beautiful plant pots tend green point also did they have truly the nicest plant pots I've ever seen but they are expensive like $60 for a plant pot yet again, so Those are all the plants I got I'm gonna do my best to take care of them And I'm excited to just kind of place them all around my apartment and see how they thrive and grow And I'm just gonna manifest that they're gonna stay alive. <laughs> so yeah, that's my little plant mini haul Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I last filmed, but I'm really excited because today I am tackling this art project. I've seen this beautiful painting in a few people's homes. I'll try to leave a picture of it here, but recently I saw someone make an almost exact replica of it just by painting it themselves. So I thought I might as well tackle it myself as well and just do it the cost effective way. So I went to Michael's and I got all the materials that I needed for this DIY project and I'm ready just to have some fun with this. Basically, I just wanted to create this painting for the wall above my bed. I haven't actually put anything up there yet because the headboard that I currently have is really tall so I wasn't sure if the wall would look too crowded but I kind of just decided to just go for it and if the painting doesn't look so great up there I could always put it somewhere else but I did just want to style up the bedroom area just a little bit because right now it's literally just my bed and then obviously that mirror that I have behind me so I also ordered two wall sconces for either side of the bed but they're not coming in till I think mid-March but I figured I could just go ahead and start this this art project anyway so everything that I need for the project is just right beside me I basically just have this pretty big art canvas it is a 24 by 36 inch board I figured this was a pretty decent size it's not too big because my ceilings aren't that high so I figured I'd stick with a safe size for now and I also just purchased these bristle brushes which I also just got from Michaels to spread the paint around and then I have three different colored paints I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using all of them but I got this fawn colored paint by deco art and i also got just regular black and white and then from amazon i purchased these putty knives this one comes in a set of three so it has the spreader the taping knife and then the putty knife itself so this is a perfect three pack exactly what i needed and then lastly i just have this dry dex spackling putty so this is what i plan on using to add texture to my canvas and just make it look really cool, I'm really excited. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish it all today because I do know that this spackle needs some time to dry. I'm not sure how long it takes, but I hear that it applies 
pink and then turns white once it's all ready to go and be painted. So that's how you'll know when it's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by applying this and just layering it on just kind of any which way. And then I will let it dry and come back to paint it whenever it's ready. Also, I forgot to mention that I saw someone DIY this on Instagram and her name is Olivia and I will definitely be sure to leave her handle down below just in case you wanna follow her step-by-step -step instructions and see how she created her artwork. Okay, I'm ready to go, let's do it. So I'm just taking a pretty hefty amount and I'm just gonna literally plop it on there and just <laughs> just start spreading it um, with the larger size. And there's no real rhyme or reason to this, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and see how it turns out. So the spackling part is now done. This is basically what it looks like. Obviously it doesn't look like anything yet because I just wanted to add the texture to it. So everything is gonna be painted over. Actually, once this dries white, it might not need to be painted over, but I will have some black incorporated into it. So I'm just gonna let this dry. But in the meantime, I'm super excited because I just got a package in. So I'm gonna open it with you on camera. And I think there's actually a bit of building involved with this one. So I'm gonna show you what I just ordered. I got it from a craftsman on Etsy. So I really cannot wait to open it and just add it to my little decor. So let's go ahead and do that while this dries. And yeah, I'll come back to this project either later today or tomorrow. Okay, so I'm on the floor yet again. I just moved like two feet, but I I do have the box right here. This is the big box. Well, it's not too big, but it is pretty heavy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. I decided to do it over here because the item is gonna go here. I don't know if you have any guesses for what it could be, but it's something that will sit right here where I'm sitting. So that kind of gives you a hint, but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, I don't know if you can see it yet, but... Oh, I can. I'm obsessed with the color so far. Okay, so as you can see, it is wood. It's a bench, guys. It's a bench. It's like a really narrow bench that was personalized just for me, like I said, by an Etsy craftsman. He makes these benches by hand, and what's really great about it is that he customizes the dimensions to whatever you need. So I specifically picked these dimensions and he made it work for me and I'm really, really hoping that it fits nicely for at the end of my bed. I really wanna add more of a rustic feel to my apartment this time. So I wanna incorporate more wooden tones and things of that nature. So I really hope that this accomplishes that without taking up too much surface space. I made sure to make it really narrow and skinny. So let's see how it looks. These are all the pieces. I think I basically just need to attach the legs, so that's pretty nice. So I asked for a really distressed and raw looking wood, and this one does have a lot of cracks in it. Let's see if I can show you. So that's what it looks like, but I really like that. I feel like it just looks more natural when it's like unfinished like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this together now and stop blabbing. <laughs> All right, so it is the next day, so I figured I'd just come back and revisit this canvas. 
As you can see, it's all dry because it is finally turned white. It's actually an off-white color, like a creamy tone. And I originally bought the white paint, but I kind of like this color, so I might just leave that part the way it is and then just use the black for the bottom. So I'm gonna first start by sanding down some of the parts that have just a little bit too much texture to them. It's a bit uneven, so I just wanna kind of even it out a bit, and then I'll be able to go forward and paint it. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go in, I guess with a bigger brush to start. I'm basically just going to start painting at the bottom, just like the inspo picture. Okay, I think it's ready. I'm gonna try to stand up to show you the completed look. I'm actually super happy with it. I do still have to get a few wood pieces for the size just to create a frame because right now it really does look a bit unfinished. But once I DIY that wooden frame, I know it's gonna be so nice. And I think it's gonna look really good above my bed. So I'm super excited. Um, let me try to show you what it looks like. Ta-da! Here it is. I'm just gonna get a little close up. So I added this kind of beige coloring in between the putty and the black paint. Um, and I thought that added like another dimension to it. I'm still deciding whether I wanna fill in all these white parts with black and make it completely solid. But for now, I'm liking the way it looks. I really do wanna get that wooden frame because I know it'll look 10 times better. But I'm still so happy with my painting. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to go over it with paint again, if it would have come out terrible, but I think I'm gonna stick with it. I really like it. So, so excited about this. And I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you some painting and just kind of like day in the life things, uh, some improvements that I'm making in my apartment little by little. I will of course film a fully furnished apartment tour, but I still just wanna get a few things just to make sure that the apartment is exactly how I want it before I show you. So that should be coming up in about a month or so. But until then, I hope you're enjoying these little snippets of my home. And as always, thank you so much for watching my videos. If you do like these videos, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.